Welcome to Upgrade, I'm your host Frank the Tank and today I bring the XPS the 13 inch monitor screen so it's a little smaller than the last ones I review. We're going to take a look at it and see what you get when you purchase them like this and see what's under the hood so let's go ahead and take a look at it. So I like that they come with this nice little box set up XPS on the top uh, to give you a little attachment because they're very difficult to get out too alright so we're going to get this out. Of course, power supply comes with the power supply instructions. And also in here, if you guys can see this, this is actually an adapter. It's a USB to regular USB connection too. So because they do have a different adoption uh, options to set up uh, because these don't come with a NIC card or anything else. And you want to set up a, a secondary uh, connection. You have to do this or you have to present. You want to have that extra connection too. So that's another thing that it's available. It's, it's also available on the other system on the other xps now if you guys can see the power it's really tiny itself i mean good options that they give you this stuff so xps in the back real small real light uh it, well the luminance makes it a little heavy but it's lighter than the last ones i reviewed um we're gonna open it up here first all right we're gonna go ahead and open it up and see how well it works um the the actual uh camera is really tiny too it's on the top it's a 720 it's not strong enough but the, if you guys can see the vessel now i'm testing out the camera system here and let me go ahead and record myself and do one two three four now there is a little tiny light that came up so that means there's gonna you could identify yourself with the actual camera if micro has that microsoft has that feature that automatically identifies you as soon as you open it up and stuff like that it's very simple to set up i like it i actually have it in a lot of machines because i don't want to be typing away or you forget your password you just recognize you and pretty much uh, the, that's what it does now the camera's not 1080 but it's a 720 and the color is a little bit off, of course, because if you have to lighten up the room, if I turn it off, it's not going to work that well. It does follow your eyes and it covers your, your whole face, entire face. But if you're going to do Zoom meetings or any uh, Teams or anything like that, online um, video conferencing, this is a great option. Like I said, for traveling purposes, it's really good It's really handy. So let's continue with the test it's really really tight right there so really nice little setup they have this is a touch screen too now the the actual keys are pretty quiet they're not that bad big um, um thumb rest and then a pad that you have here for anything that you want to turn the turn on button is right here if you guys just notice but there is no power button it doesn't see any power or anything like that it's just invisible you put it in there you plug it in and that's it now the itself it's a rubber base kind of thing. It looks like a carbon fiber, but it's not. It's, it has a coated paste on the uh, right be on top of it. it. It comes with the i7 Evo, um, the 11th generation, of course. Uh, let's go ahead and say, set it to a side. They give you one USB and one 3.5 jack here only. On the other side, they actually give you two different connections. They give you a they give you a SD card reader here. If you guys have those SD cards, if you have a, say you have a camera or anything else, so you, you want to transfer some files in here, you can actually have that and transfer it through here. And then they give you the USB. Now, both of the USBs can be used for powering the system. Also for the module systems that you could have additional connections. Say you want to set up a USB with multiple USBs or with VGA or HDMI, you can set those things up, those modules. That's what they are. Now the system itself, let's see how well it opens up it's supposed to open a little wider than other ones but we're going to take a look at it and if you can see it you can actually fold it down look at that flat base it's about a half a, not even an inch to be honest with you thickness on this part it's really thin not even an inch right now it does get fingerprints everywhere so just to give you a heads up you are going to get a lot of fingerprints on this system so let's go ahead and see what's under the hood the quality of the actual uh, monitor itself look at the vet look at look at how thin it is it's still there's some thinness right here that needs to be covered but other than that it does a very good job of covering the whole monitor the top is uh, you can see the actual um right here the video camera itself you can't see it within unless uh, you see a reflection of a light um other than that look at the monitor i'm gonna actually turn off some light so you guys can see a little bit better of it uh, the quality of it and um I, I'm trying to block the reflection so you can see the good quality of the actual system. And I am running some tests here so so you can see. Uh, play outside. And and you guys can listen to the audio. Super bright. I like it. I am very And the quality of the actual 
video it's not bad um so it's one of those things that i like about it so the quality is pretty good on the actual monitor itself so we're gonna put the description on the actual model pixel so right now we're at nine uh it's a 1080 that's pretty much what it is recommendation that's the highest um quality you can go 1920 by 1200 um it's not a 4k or a 2k so the quality is okay it's not going to be the greatest um but it does its job so all right let's take a look at the inside of the machine uh, xps 13 inches so not that much you can upgrade in here it's very compact everything's pretty much set in here to in place uh even the some of the features are in here are very sensitive uh the fans of course you're gonna find the fans and of course you're gonna find the m.2 underneath all this stuff too now in order to access it you're not going to be able to it it's built in the motherboard i believe it is built in the motherboard because there is no access to anything in there the battery will probably be the only thing you're going to be able to upgrade so when you buy some of this if you buy it for 32 gigs or 16 that's that's pretty much what you get you're not really going to do much more than only replace the battery that's pretty much it right now and if you can see it's a 51 watts 51 watt wh uh it's pretty much you know it's these are gonna last you a long time this battery takes off half of the actual motherboard space in here if you can see the motherboard is really tiny but it also leaks in over here on this side now i believe the m.2 might be even underneath of it but i don't even have access i'm not gonna be able to access this stuff right now but we're just looking at it there's not that much you can do on this system uh, unfortunately there's a, a couple things that you can buy with it which is the touchscreen, the pan and other items that you can do it and other accessories but not that much that you can go with but these machines are awesome little machines we're gonna see how well they uh, tolerate some of the heat and see if they even overheat or anything like that so let's go ahead and take a look at that and if you guys can see you can see all the wiring too where it goes through real simple easy to use easy to open actually it took me a while to <laughs> not easy to open these systems just be careful when you're opening them or you can avoid the warranty so on this machine particular machine not that much heat is um it's 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 coming out of it it's actually pretty good if you guys can see it it's holding retaining very good uh it's not that hot as it is you can see a, a little burning spot right here but overall it's holding itself and i'm looking at the xps 13 is really simple i'm gonna turn it around so you guys can see a little bit in back of it where the heat's coming from um it's actually not even exhausting from the back that much it's all coming up from the front and um the vents if you guys can see there is no vents that much in here uh it does get a little hot right here it's a little warm but the vents are actually in between the monitor itself so that's not bad um i like it that it's running really simple really quiet i can't even hear the, the machine itself um the vents on the side let me turn it so you guys can see the bottom of it this is where all the heat ev evaporates from right there in the back um that's the hardest spot that you have but overall it's maintaining itself really quiet really um uh, it's retaining the heat really well it's spreading it around um, it doesn't get hot. It's it looks like it's hot, but that's an internal stuff. It's not even hot at all. All right, look how quiet it is. Not that bad. I don't hear anything on the machine. Not even the fans or anything. All the like I say, all the heat's right underneath here. The lights are light lit up. If you guys, you could turn them off to save battery too. Uh, it's not a tin key. Really simple. Like I said, the actual material it's like a rubber but it has coated, it's coated um, with some sort of rubber on the top of it. So uh, you can see carbon fiber underneath of it and right over it. Now the actual touchpad here is really pretty, it's like five fingers um, long, that's pretty much it is. Um, overall, you know, look at the camera setting itself, really tiny, the vessel itself, if you guys can see, and it has touch screen too, all right? So if you guys can see the, the vessel itself, look out around it. Now, pretty much all the features are here. Um, we got the XPS 13, 9310, 2 and 1, of course. 64 um, bit base, all right? And just to be, it's the 11th series, the 7 uh, i7 core. Um, it's generation 11th, like I said, Dow. Uh, pretty much everything's touchscreen. Um, nothing fancy in here that I saw. Of course, 16 gigs. So, if you're in the market for XPS, and this is a good machine for students. 
um, uh, accountants, travel people that are going to be traveling around the country. This is a perfect way instead of taking a heavy load. This is an awesome way to travel with this machine. Uh, very durable with the aluminum case. It's it's a lot better than an Apple on the casing itself because it has both sides. Not that many things that are made of plastic in here. Uh, battery is very simple to replace. You are gonna if you ever get a bolt of a battery that goes on you. Very simple. They a lot of manufacturers make these kind of batteries, but I recommend you getting the Dell uh, something certified. So.